Okay, in this video, I will be presenting on the topic induction generator, and in uh, in this video, I will be covering up the construction, operative principle, merits and demerits. First of all, with introduction, induction generator is an electrical machine that converts mechanical energy into electrical energy. It is also known as a synchronized generator. In this type of generator, rotor rotates at more than synchronized speed and induction motor behave like induction generator. Induction generator is not self-excited generator. It is necessary to excite the stator from external polyphase source to produce rotating magnetic field. Basic principle. The fundamental principle behind an induction generator is electromagnetic induction, which was first discovered by Michael Faraday. According to Michael Faraday, a change in magnetic flux through a coil of a wire induces an electromotive force or voltage in the coil. This voltage causes an electric current to flow when a closed circuit is connected to the coil. Induction generator consists of stator and rotor and shaft. Stator is the stationary part of induction generator where field winding is placed. Rotor is the rotating part of induction generator where amateur winding is placed. Stator and rotor core is made up of high permeability material to get low reluctance path and is laminated to reduce eddy current loss. Core is made up of different arrangement of thin plates called lamination. Rotational motion and magnetic field. As the rotor rotates, it cuts through the lines of magnetic field produced by stator windings. This relative motion between the rotor and stator windings induces a varying magnetic flux in the stator coils. Induction of voltage. According to Faraday's law of Electromagnetic induction, the changing magnetic flux in the stator windings induces a voltage. This induced voltage creates an electrical current flow in the stator winding. Working principle of induction generator At starting when AC supply is connected to the stator terminals of an induction machine, rotating magnetic field produced in a stator pulls the rotor to run behind it. When a prime mover accelerates, a rotor to synchronize speed, the slip and net torque are zero, and the rotor current also becomes zero. Rotating a rotor at a speed above the synchronized speed results in negative slip and generates a rotor current in the opposite direction. This generated rotor current produces a rotating magnetic field in the rotor which pushes onto the stator field. So during motoring operation, it draws reactive 4 amperes from the main supply. Then the speed of the machine is increased above the synchronous speed of the rotating magnetic field of stator using external prime mover in the same direction of the rotor and the rotating magnetic field produced by stator windings. As the speed of the rotor increases above synchronous speed, the machine will start operating as an induction generator and will produce a generating torque. This generating torque produced by the machine is opposite to the rotation of the rotor or opposite to the rotating field produced by the rotor. In this case, the slip of motor becomes negative and starts delivering electrical power to the main supply. If the shaft load has been replaced by the resistor value in this case, the slip is negative and therefore the load resistance R mechanical is also negative. This shows that load resistance no longer absorbs power but acts as a source of power to source. The output generator depends on magnitude of the negative slip or the rotor speed above the synchronous speed driven by the prime mover. The stock speed characteristics indicates the maximum induced torque in generating mode, known as pushover torque. If the prime mover applies more torque, the generator over speed. Thus, the generator is not self-excited. 
generator and it requires a supply of excitations current to the stator from the polyphase source all time at weight it voltage and frequency and driven at the above synchronous speed set by the supply frequency the advantages of induction generator robust construction and requirement of less maintenance it is less expensive squirrel cage induction motor can operate as induction generator the size per kilowatt the output power of induction generator is small so it has requirement of less external equipment it provides self protection during short circuit fault now the disadvantages an induction generator cannot generate reactive power instead it requires reactive fault amperes from supply to furnish its excitation it cannot contribute to the maintenance of system voltage levels it has lower efficiency and it consumes rather than supplies magnetizing keyboard impure thank you